Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to do a financial analysis on a multi-unit building uh, that's sold in the month of February 2024 here in Ottawa. And if you enjoy getting these uh, analysis, uh, click on the subscription, subscription button, notification bell, and we'll send them out to you every 30 days. So what we selected this month in the two to four uh, unit category is a building that sold in central Ottawa. Now the list price on the building was $3,495,000 and it sold for $3,225,000. Now we're not sure actually if it's three or four unit building. Uh, I know it was in MLS. I compared it to uh, what is available uh, in MPAC. There was some contradiction. So I'm not sure what it legally is. So the best thing can say is three to four units. Now, the scheduled rental income on this building was $228,000. The effective rental income was $200,000. $21,000 and change. The stated operating expenses were $48,000 and the total operating expenses when we add in maintenance and management was $70,000 $252, and that gives us an NOI net operating income of $151,000. So here's the interesting part about this building. The cap rate, 4.7%. You know, we're always used to looking at caps of the high twos and the low threes, so that, that's very uh, unusual. Um, operating expense ratio was about 32%. It sold for 15 uh, times the gross and 21 times its net. Now get this, it's like we've been transported back about uh, four years or something. You could actually buy this building with a 35% down payment, in this case here, about a million one hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars. So with that thirty-eight uh, percent down payment, um, it, and using a mortgage rate of five point two percent, we know what our mortgage is of a little over two million dollars. So our annual debt service, how much do we pay every year to pay that mortgage, uh, pay that debt? Anyhow, that is a hundred and forty-nine thousand dollars. And that gives us a positive cash flow of over $2,000. And that's a, a positive ROI of 0.18%. So that's kind of interesting news. Thank you for watching.